what's up Taurus welcome to the channel it's Robin here how's it going so guys I'm getting ready to do um, a star guide spread for you guys for the month of August so I just wanted to say hello before changing the camera angle to the cards be right back okay here we go um, Taurus thanks for tuning in guys thanks for being here I really appreciate each and every one of you so I hope you enjoy the reading but please keep in mind these are general reads, you know, the ones I post publicly for free, they're general, so um, hopefully it resonates with you. If not, just <clears throat> enjoy and take what you can from it. All right, so I'm just gonna shuffle a couple times more, and this will be a six card spread. So please remember to comment if you feel compelled to do so and like and share the video and also subscribe to the channel. So the card that I pull first will be the present situation. And we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, I feel like that's good. I've been asked to stop shuffling. So the first card that we have, just so you know, I don't do reversals. Um, the card is gonna talk to me no matter what position it came out in. So, um, and this is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, very hardworking very goal oriented, doesn't give up, you know, sets her, sets her sights on what she wants to get done, doesn't let anything really bother her. She might stop to accommodate something, but she's not really one to um, get pulled off her, her track, sorry. Um, so this is your energy right now. If you're not feeling this energy right now, it's going to come into you where you feel like very focused and you you have your journey or your mission or whatever it is your goal that you're going to just pursue because it matters a lot to you so the second card we're going to see what if there's any conflicts going on in your life right now whoops so i've got the eight of wands here for you guys this is really interesting. It's like just getting the sense that you feel like time is not under your control right now. Things are going a little bit too fast for you. You might possibly be having a hard time keeping up to chains of events. It's pretty interesting. Beautiful card though. So the third card is changes that need to happen in order to face your challenges or get around the roadblock so we have the six of cups here so the six of cups is the karma card it's like the flashback there's something coming back around for you maybe there's a, just a little bit of energy that needs to come back so you can keep up with whatever the flow You know, there could be somebody coming back to help you also. Six of Cups can also indicate that somebody could be coming back into your life. So if you're feeling like things are going a little too fast, like that treadmill is picking up speed, and you're having a hard time keeping pace, something is coming back into your life. maybe that could be the change that's needed or maybe you just need to reclaim some energy that you had if you look at the difference in energy from you know when you were a child to like teenager to an adult i'm not sure how old you are but you know energy levels change so especially when you're trying to put everything you've got into accomplishing a goal People say it's never too late to start anything, right? But I mean, there's definitely a difference in the way that your body and your mind react as you age. So I'm not sure how old you are. Don't be shy and comment if you want to. So your strength right now is the tower card. So the tower card indicates that no matter what else is going on, you've got your foundation to lean back on. You've built a strong foundation for yourself, your knowledge, um, you know, just being able to take care of yourself. So this is a pretty explosive card, right? So everything is falling apart here, but if you look really closely, like the bottom two thirds of the tower, they remain intact. 
So a lot of things could be feeling out of control for you right now, but it's not the whole thing. You know, it's not everything, but it feels, I'm sensing that it feels on some days that everything is out of your control. So the fifth card we're gonna put down here is to represent your other challenges. So we have the chariot here. So again, this card relates to energy. So I'm seeing a need to bring in a higher level of energy to your interactions so that you can keep up eight of wands. I really, I'd like to pull a clarifying card on the six of cups, actually. I don't generally pull clarifying cards on these spreads, um, but I'd like to because I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a stuck energy here. So we've got the six of wands. So the six of wands is, is moving forward in victory. Hmm. Sort of, this is a really different six of wands than a traditional tarot. It's like this guy has just been walking through a war zone and just continues to do so. So I'm seeing that that is what you're going to have to do here, guys. You're just going to have to keep on going. I'm seeing a bit of an upheaval happening for you guys. Like even though you're steady on eyes front, there's going to be some sort of upheaval. It may or may not take you by surprise. You could be see this coming, but I think it's going to take quite a bit out of you. And you might not have any energy to spare right now. So if you have some downtime, you might want to take advantage of that. And make sure that you're taking care of yourself, like physically, so that you have that endurance when things go wrong. Because I see a certain element of things like not going as per your plan. Even though you've got a very carefully laid plan here, plans can go awry. But I see you coming out of it here with the Six of Wands, even though it's going to feel like a bit of a roller coaster ride. So... The last card is meant to be your outcome card. So this is the Seven of Wands, which I find, or sorry guys, Seven of Swords, which I find a little bit interesting um, because the Seven of Swords talks about, you know, somebody is taking advantage of someone else. So there could be somebody in your life that is stealing your energy. Could be sort of an energy vampire here, somebody taking advantage of your kindness even though you're doing everything I'm seeing that you're doing everything like above board and respectfully and not taking advantage of other people I just see things around you are a little bit chaotic but you come out unscathed really um, at the end of the day there's somebody in your life here with the seven of swords that you need to be careful about and I think that this is the person that is going to be held like responsible for things blowing up a little bit. I'm, I'm being asked to tell you guys that if you're going to hire somebody, um, really do your background checks here because I'm seeing falseness from somebody around you. Just be careful who you let into your inner circle. And adding to that... Um, Really keep your goals to yourself and only share them with people on a need to know basis. That's very important to protect what it is that you're trying to do for yourself right now. I'm gonna clarify the Seven of Swords a little bit here for you guys too. So we've got the Three of Pentacles and this is just, it resonates really well with the Queen of Pentacles because you guys are trying to get something done for yourself. like. I'm seeing for some of you actually home improvement. So really have to watch the contractors that you hire you guys. You know, there's obviously something going to go wrong here with the tower card. Something is gonna like leap out unplanned. So something's gonna rear its ugly head here. So you guys really do your, do your homework on people. This is what I'm seeing here is the bottom line. Um, like trust is really precious and don't just give it away to anybody because you saw an ad on Kijiji. You know, 
there's a lot of unethical people out there um, seeing somebody sort of trying to encroach on you and like use you a little bit or take your money and not supply a product like you know take your deposit and then just never show up to do the work or I'm getting the word embezzlement here if you let somebody close to you if, if you're considering sharing any sort of password or you know bank account information or your social <clears throat> don't do that you guys like keep this stuff confidential because there's somebody that is wants to get away with something for you somebody shady here with the seven of swords and you're busy trying to create your own world you know your own I'm getting foundation fortune um, family and you're gonna be able to do this and obviously you're gonna win at it because you have the six of wands, but you just have to watch out for people. You know, I really just think that people are a little bit different than, than these, day, these days than they used to be. Like you used to be able to trust people a lot more, but yeah, just be careful who you let too close in to you, especially if it's regarding your personal life and how it's going to impact you. And I think there's somebody really, really close to you. You already possibly know them or they're coming in soon. And if you're not careful, they're gonna they're gonna throw a grenade into the works. You know what I'm saying? Could be a little bit of an explosion here with the tower. Just be careful, guys, because you guys, you've got some really, really well laid plans here and your own vision. And it could very well be this person from your past that comes to help you or hinder you. So just be careful who you let in, guys. That's what I'm seeing here for you right now. Um, your spirit guides are sending a pretty definitive message here that you've got to protect what is yours. Protect what belongs to you and be careful who you trust. So I think this is a really, really cool reading when you can have a message like that, that, okay, well, not everything is as it seems. And, you know, trust your gut, you guys. Do your research on people. It's not hard these days, you know social media you can get background checks done i really strongly suggest that you know this is your life your finances everything it's it's your everything that you hold dear here um make sure that the people that you let close into your vision are worth your trust guys i hope you really enjoyed the reading and were able to take something away from there um so I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys back here next time. So take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Bye.